A lot of sad people here, a lot of disappointment, disbelief, and as you say, shock. After all, Brazil were the tournament favourites, and pretty much all Brazilians, the vast majority of them, really did believe that this year they were finally going to win the World Cup once again after 20 years and bring back the sixth World Cup. Especially after that 4-1 victory against South Korea, confidence was really riding high, but it wasn't to be. They came up against a really solid Croatian team, very um, solid defend defensively, solid marking, and really frustrated Brazilians' attacking flow. Uh, they seemed to be quite happy to let it carry on to extra time and then penalties. Croatia have never lost a penalty shootout in the World Cup so far. But it looked like Neymar might have snatched that winner with the superb goal he scored in extra time just at the end of the first period of extra time, a solo effort and then a shot from close range. But Croatia were dogged. They weren't going to give up and they got that equaliser with Petkovic to take it to penalties. And as we now know, they won 4-2. Well, yeah, and every cloud uh, has a silver lining, you might say. Uh, you, you touched on Neymar there. Uh, he scored uh, to equal uh, Pelé's record of 77 uh, Brazil uh, goals. Has that lessened the blow at all, or do people even care, uh, considering that they're uh, uh, looking at defeat tonight? So, Neymar is certainly a very much loved player here in Brazil. Every time his face comes up on the big screen, everybody lets out a huge cheer of joy. Whether people are so excited about him equaling Pele's record is another matter. I'm quite sure they would have preferred for Richarlison to score two, Vinicius Junior to score two, Neymar not to score at all, but for Brazil to get through. But obviously that wasn't to be. As for the person whose record he has equaled Pele, he is also very much loved. He is a huge footballing legend here in Brazil. Everybody knows his name and everybody is wishing him a speedy recovery. He is in hospital at the moment, has been there for 10 days with a respiratory infection. He's also reassessing his chemotherapy for his colon cancer. And I know that the Brazilian team was certainly hoping that they would be able to give him the gift of this World Cup trophy, bringing it back to Brazil for the sixth time. Sadly, it wasn't to be, possibly though, in 2026.